కొంతకొంతమంది నటీనటులు చూసినప్పుడు ఒక్కసారిగా మనకి గూజ్ బంప్స్ వస్తాయి ముఖ్యంగా మనం అపరిచితుడు లాంటి టైంలో సినిమా చూస్తే ఒక విక్రమ్ని చూసి అరే ఏం నటించాడు రా అబ్బా అనుకునే ఫీలింగ్ తీసుకొచ్చారు అలాగే ప్రకాష్ రాజ్ గారు ఎన్నో క్యారెక్టర్స్తో అద్భుతమైన క్యారెక్టర్స్ చేశారు ఈ మధ్య కాలంలో నాకు అలాంటి ఫీలింగ్ వచ్చిన ఒక సినిమా రజాకర్ రజాకర్లో కాసిం రజ్వీ అనే ఒక పాత్ర చేశారు ఆయన పేరు రాజ్ అర్జున్ ఆయనకి తెలుగు రాదు కానీ తెలుగులోనే డబ్బింగ్ చేసి చెప్పారట ఎందుకు డబ్బింగ్ చేసి చెప్పారు ఎందుకు ఆ సినిమాలో ఈయన నటించాల్సి వచ్చింది ఎక్కడి నుంచి వచ్చారు అనేది ఖచ్చితంగా మన ట్యాగ్ తెలుగు ప్రేక్షకులకు అందించాలని ఉద్దేశంతో ఈయన ఇంటర్వ్యూ చేస్తున్నాను ఈ ఇంటర్వ్యూ ఇంగ్లీష్ అండ్ హిందీ రెండింటిలో మిక్స్తా ఉంటుంది ఒకసారి ఏమనుకోకుండా చూస్తూ ఉండాలి మనస్ఫూర్తిగా కోరుకుంటున్నాను దేనికంటే ఇలాంటి ఒక మంచి టాపిక్ని తీసుకున్నప్పుడు ఒక మంచి క్యారెక్టర్ ఆర్టిస్ట్ని ఇంటర్వ్యూ చేస్తున్నప్పుడు చాలా హ్యాపీగా ఉంటుంది అందుకనే ఈ రాజ్ అర్జున్ని మీకు పరిచయం చేసే ఉద్దేశంతోనే మీకు ఇంటర్వ్యూ చేస్తున్నాను రాజ్ అర్జున్ అంటే ఇప్పుడు మనకి కాసిం రజ్వి అందుకనే ఆయన ఇంటర్వ్యూ చేస్తున్నాను నమస్తే కాసిం రజ్వి సాబ్ నమస్తే శివ నమస్తే ఫ్యాంటాస్టిక్ వర్క్ సార్ యూ డిడ్ ఫ్యాబ్లెస్ జాబ్ ఇన్ రాజాకర్ యాజ్ కాసిం రజ్వి థ్యాంక్ యూ థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ వేర్ యూ ఆర్ ఫ్రమ్ ఐ ఎమ్ ఫ్రమ్ భోపాల్ ఐ వాజ్ బోర్న్ అండ్ బాట్ అప్ ఇన్ భోపాల్ అండ్ ఐ స్టిల్ హ్యావ్ మై ఫ్యామిలీ ఓవర్ దేర్ మై బ్రదర్స్ మై నీస్ నెఫ్యూ ఎవ్రీబడి లివ్స్ దేర్ వీ హ్యావ్ అ బిజినెస్ ఓవర్ దేర్ వీ డీల్ ఇన్ క్రాకరీ ఓకే అండ్ ఐ వాజ్ ఫ్యాసినేటెడ్ బై దిస్ వర్డ్ acting hmm. and cinema i used to how you uh, fascinated about that from childhood i used to see lot of films and hindi films had a impression in my mind in my soul and all i used to see uh, nasir sahab nana patekar irfan bhai later i just become a fan of irfan bhai like anything hmm. when i saw his film hasil and from other films at that time so i got fascinated by cinema and i felt that i want to become an actor and that's how it started i started from bhopal itself because i was very small and i was studying at that time so but this came in my mind that if i want to become an actor since nobody from my family is in this field i should learn something yeah and then go to bombay so at the age of 18 i started doing theater mm and in bhopal i worked with each and every one all theater groups and amateur groups i worked for a longer longer time near about 11 years i worked over there 11 12 years bhopal bharat how many shows you acted i have done so many shows so mm-hmm. many and counted mm-hmm. and so many people i have worked with over there whoever is a theater personality there i have worked with them in, uh, for one year two years one year two years almost for 10 years 11, 11 years i worked then i moved to bombay and i started looking out for the work that's how it started now on uh, wikipedia and uh, google it says that black friday my, my, was my first yes film. yes but uh, it is uh, ram gopal varma surprising <laughs> yeah it, uh, it is not mentioned there because the role was not uh, so big that somebody even thought to mention it because you need to mention the name of uh, the character and in that film company i didn't have the name also okay. but there is a very very interesting story here because that incident has changed my life that is what i think and that is why i have a immense respect for ramu ji why because not because he gave me an opportunity which i will share with you it is because i see ramu as that one man who just choose people on the basis of instinct Oh. he see talent without even she seeing your talent i think he has a quality to notice your talent by just looking at you so long back when i was like kind of bored by television acting mm. i actually came over to bombay to become a television actor like sharukh khan no sharukh to is too big i had small dreams okay so i used to look Uh, very charming without clean shave and all i look goody goody so i thought television serials are happening i will just take an entry balaji is making so many serials so i will work in one of the balaji oh. ekta kapoor show and that is how i came to bombay and i started looking out for work in television why because in films at that particular time cinema was not this cinema was particularly oriented on the hero or the heroine 
our hero's four friend or heroine's one sister and all mm. this was the cinema at that time 2000 before 2000 and all i don't it, don't want it to be hero's friend and i thought that it is better to go to television but see sir destiny has something else for you initially it didn't work when it worked in television i started getting main villains role in uh, television and all uh, after a point i got bored hmm because television had a, had a certain format yes and uh, that's a regular format regular format also they have a different audience and that's why the producer and the maker wants to project the acting more so that the housewives notice that performance mm-hmm. and i have an allergy to do more mm-hmm. because i have been taught that less is more for me and i believe that a performance or the acting should not be done it should have happened if you are feeling the character it will definitely happen like the way i'm talking to you i'm not thinking that where will my hand go yes so it just happened yeah so i'm not deciding that like what my hand is going here or here so this is what i believe in acting also yes. this is the method which working for so many years i decided that okay this is my approach now mm. and this is what i believe abhi bas abhi bas yeah. aisa hi main karunga main apne tarike se karunga so then i started doing television they were not liking my performance they were saying tum kuch karte hi nahi ho mm. you are not doing anything so i said what do you want me to do mm. <laughs> they said kuch action karo mujh pe hath karo aise karo aise karo main kya bhai mujhse nahi hoga ye sab mujhe nahi aata hai because ab wo painful journey hai no oh. if you do something which you don't like, like. you will be in a pain aapko if you, if you like if you like whatever you do ha so do what you want so then i realized that i don't want to do then i thought okay what to do then i thought i will go to my kind of people i will go to anurag kashyap i will go to ram gopal varma i will go to tishu bhai tigmanshu dhulia these are the makers with whom i feel that i have a particular genre that i could work start i could start the work so i started going to anurag i started going to tigmanshu dhulia ram gopal varma's office ramu ji has an office in juhu mm. which has a post box ha uh. that time that time yeah because an actor can directly not go inside because there is a process yes. the direction team is working on something and there are thousands of actor who want to meet ramu and who want to meet the other that time star. ramu sir he was like the king of the industry because he was launching people he was mm-hmm. launching he launched manoj ajpay he launched uh, vivek obra he launched everybody so then everybody every struggling actor was just dropping in so i was one of them i dropped my pictures in that post box So in Juhu, in Juhu RGB's office. Juhu RGB's office, yeah. yeah. He had RGB's RGB office was initially in Juhu, uh, near Hari Rama Hari Krishna temple and all. Yes. Then it got shifted to four bungalow above Shri Ji and all. Then it got shifted to somewhere else. Then it got shifted to uh, Link Road and all. I have been in all the offices. यही तो काम था हमारे लिए तो वही थे जिनके साथ हमें काम करना था. So I went to his office. I dropped the photograph. Nothing happens and all. But i decided and i had a wish to work with him to so somehow my work in television was noticed by praval praval raman praval raman who was a chief ad of ramu at that time he called me and he gave me one small role in another film darna mana hai darna mana darna mana hai. and then he was supposed to cast me in another film again a small role darna zaruri hai over that time at that time uh, sorry i missed it so uh, praval raman noticed me in television and he said that there is a small role in company and will you be able to do it i said of course i will do it so i got 2000 2000 rupees for that uh, particular role where i had to shoot a person and i have to run away and i had a kawasaki bazaar at that time so i just ran away and then took a 2000 rupees at that time and then left then after a few days uh, praval called me and he said that uh, ramu wants to meet you he want to launch you hmm. i said what nonsense are you talking about uh. and are you making me a fool because he was casting me in darna zaruri hai after okay. this so i said yaar you tu mujhe mere ko wo film de de darna zaruri hai <laughs> ramu jab cast karega karega abhi to mere ko kaam chahiye na he said no no brother you are not understanding he want to cast you i said yaar okay theek <laughs> hai abhi anyway he was serious and he was right within few days i got a call from praval that ramu wants to meet you i met him and then he gave me shabri main lead oh 
mainly by looking at companies that shot particular shot. That only one shot. Only one shot. In company, yeah, gee, surprisingly, he came, he, uh, I met him, he just talked, spoke to me, saw me from top to bottom. Later, he said, you, there is one role of Murad and Chabri. You just prepare that. Once you are ready, you come and meet me. I met him. He said, you are doing it. Yeah. That's it. And then life changed. So, I give credit to Ramu for bringing me in films because... Till this time, I was fighting with my own internal and outer journey. Oh. Till this time, I was just thinking, am I an actor or not? Oh. Am I worthy enough or not? Because Raja Kar movie dekhne ke baad, you are the you are the fantastic artist. You are the fantastic performer. Thank you, sir. Thank you. That's why that's why I'm asking you. Please come to my studio. We will go to interview. Yes, I saw some of your interviews when you actually. invited me and i felt what will i talk because none of your interviews in hindi or english and in any case i believe that uh, these are personal experiences you should share with some people only yes yes because how much and whatever you will talk but since you said that you have seen radha kar and i saw some of your interviews in glimpses i felt that i should be here with you thank you thank you thank you, you, thank you sir thank you thank you ఇప్పటి వరకు ఆయన చెప్పింది ఏంటంటే ఆయనకి అసలుకి సీ టీవీ సీరియల్లో ఏదో ఒక మోస్తరుగా వెళ్తున్న ఒక మనిషికి అనుకోకుండా ఒక చిన్న ఛాన్స్ వచ్చింది అది రామ్ గోపాల్ వర్మ కంపెనీ సినిమాలో క్లైమాక్స్లో చిన్న షూట్ ఒకటి చేయాలని చెప్పేసి రామ్ గోపాల్ వర్మ అసిస్టెంట్ ప్రభాల్ రమణ పిలిచి రెండు వేల రూపాయల రూపాయలు ఇచ్చి కవాసాకి బైక్ మీద వెళ్ళిపోమంటానికి ఒక ఒక చిన్న షీన్ చెప్పారు ఆ షీన్ చేసేసి షూట్ చేసి వెళ్ళిపోయాడు ఆయన అక్కడితో ఆయన కథ అంతటితో ముగిసింది కానీ కొన్ని రోజుల తర్వాత ఈ ఒక్క షార్ట్ చేసిన ఈ రాజార్జున్ని రామ్ గోపాల్ వర్మ గారు పిలిచారు అంటే టాలెంట్ ఉన్న వాళ్ళని ఎలా గుర్తిస్తారు రాము అనడానికి ఇది ఒక చిన్న ఉదాహరణ ఇప్పటివరకు కూడా వికీపీడియాలో కానీ ఐఎండిబిలో కానీ ఎక్కడా లేదు ఈయన చెప్తున్నారు వికీపీడియాలో ఏముందంటే అనురాగ్ కశ్యప్ బ్లాక్ ఫ్రైడేలో ఈయన ఫస్ట్ ఫస్ట్ యాక్ట్ చేశారని ఉంది కానీ అది తప్పు రామ్ గోపాల్ వర్మ ఇచ్చిన కంపెనీలో చిన్న ఛాన్సే నన్ను ఇక్కడ దాకా తీసుకొచ్చింది నాలోని ఒక నటుడిని ఇక్కడ మీ అందరికీ పరిచయం చేస్తుందని చెప్పి చాలా గర్వంగా చెప్తున్నాడు మన రాజార్జున్ ఇప్పటివరకు జరిపిందైతే అది తెలుగులో regard him why because uh, he gave me main lead in shabri come what may because some films get released some films didn't get yeah. what what went wrong i don't uh, worry about that i should not be worried because i did my part but at that time the confidence was needed that i can carry a film and i am a damn good actor mm. who believed that only ram believed that yes nobody else yes so that's it is why i give him a credit so because that made me strong to stay in bombay at that tough time that film was is supposed to get released it will release it will release but at least i could hold that time that it is releasing yeah. so my four years went like this so some day, and then the uh, responsibility you are able to carry on your shoulders you realize by doing these kind of films so that i realized that's why that's why i give credit to ram and i respect him in golden days so many people help so many times yeah. ramu sir gave you opportunity sir a man should not uh, forget that how he has reached here and uh, what happens that in that tough time in bombay there are very few hands which are given to you mm. and which takes you up it is not at all a question of money what you need in bombay is moral support yes sometimes you feel that okay i should have someone who can at least talk to me there is some empty time in bombay for struggling actors which they fight because every day morning this is a question mark big question mark where can i go where can i go what to to whom to ask and the problem still in this system is that wherever you go you are not entertained Yes. you are not attendant suppose if i want to meet a maker filmmaker i would not be allowed to meet a filmmaker so my work my effort is not getting the result i mean you are not able to struggle yourself correct your reach your word is not reaching to anyone 
So your struggle goes waste lot of time. That's why young generation is going here and there. I think there should be a system. There sh- I somehow think randomly that in Bombay there should be one particular office or in each industry. These are my random thoughts hmm. that in each industry there should be one particular building where one every cinema lover, every cinema lover maker should dedicate to their one hour of his life in one month. One month. He should announce that okay, one once in a month I will come here for one hour. All the actors, all please the come. technicians, please come and meet me for one hour. One hour. At least a maker can do this, that he can come for one hour. This is a very good thought, sir. In so many people. If you are a cinema lover, because there are lots of people like me who are looking for exposure. And all their life, they don't even reach to that path. I was going to Ekta Kapoor's office regularly because that was my destination. I couldn't enter the office, sir. Mm. To whom will you ask the work? So that's what I feel. I This is my vision. But... I I believe I I wish that people should understand that make a building decide that okay Rajamoli will come over there sit for one hour mm. will meet new people or somebody else will come over there Rambupal Verma will come one hour once in a year okay you don't have a time once in six months sit here whoever Rajkumar Hirani come there come here <laughs> sit for one hour in six months and then meet the new people and go all makers should do it it will grow our industry. Like correct, correct, sir. So many, so many talented people will come up. Yeah. Not only actors, sir. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There are DOPs, DOPs there are art there. directors, right. there are musicians, there are writers. They will come. So I'm urging, I'm requesting that not only directors, writers also should come. Yeah. There should be something like that. It's they a fantastic work. idea, sir. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully, it's yes, it will reach somewhere, sir. Yes. Because what energy we throw, we positive do, energy, we pass energy, which so happens like that. When is your breakthrough? Which which film it is? Uh, what I happened? think, I uh, think Americans film like yes, sir. Secret Superstar. Ah, uh, there was a phase, sir, uh, in my life that I, all my life I started asking work, mm. and after Shabri, uh, I got Shabri, I got confident. Then there is a phase, then you come low. So I, Shabri didn't release, so I went low. It was with Manmohan Shetty, sir, okay. in uh, Adelaide. Okay. And then it went to Reliance, I think they had some deal and all. So um, what went wrong, I don't know. They don't want it to release it or the film got old or something or the other, which is a corporate discussion and all, I still don't know. And now it has gone, so for me it is fine. Okay, but it, it, but it is a good film, sir. Mm. It but is you a, have a very good experience that time. Fantastic experience. Sir. Yes. It boosted my confidence because what I actually I wanted to prove to me in, at that time yes. that I am a good actor. Let me just prove. Are you satisfied your work, sir? Very happy. Very, very, very happy. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. In fact, uh, I remember when I was doing a film uh, with his company again. So he was just uh, uh, taking uh, some some masti karna, thodi madak karna. He was just doing that. He was happy. Because, uh, and I still like that role, Murad. Mm. If you get a chance, Murad, also, yeah. Murad was the role I played. I played Matka Don mm. in that. So, very good impression. And this, this film is still a good film and all. How you made in Rajakar's uh, Rajvi character? Uh, what happened, sir? Uh, uh, sorry, I missed out that. Uh, you said that what was my breakthrough. Yeah, right. right. So what happened after a point in life, this Shabri happened, then it didn't release and all, low phase came. Mm. No work, for years again no work. Now, while Shabri, I said no to few few filmmakers. Mm. Why? Because the role was not worthy enough. I thought I'm already doing mainly, so why should I go and do small roles? I will not do it. Mm. Now Shabri didn't release for years. Mm. Now I again have to go and ask for work. Now again, not a good work was coming. So, I decided to go into television. Mm. I again did television. In television, the bad experience was that they were telling me to react in this way. Mm. I had to look someone and they said, do this or do that. So, I said, this is not my cup of tea. So, I thought, okay, no, let me not work. And that after one or two years, I realized that I have lost everything. Oh. Everything is except the... What is the period, sir? It was, sir, 2008 onwards. 2008. Okay or nine. Mm. So I felt that, sir, I come from a very good background mm. and very strong background. 
but while looking out for work i felt that i have lost my dignity my respect my power my confidence and uh, everything has gone except some money which i get from my brother from gopals i have nothing and i have no confidence to even talk to you today i am talking to you eyes to eyes i started looking out here and there mm. because the next question you will ask me that what are you doing up to nowadays i am not working from years mm. what will i say how you bear with uh, your uh, your family sir that time they said uh, they felt i am mad mm. my brother itself said that you are wasting your life you are and uh, don't waste your don't life come back come back let's just grow our business i need your support i need your help he was in that opinion so nobody actually nobody have the confidence only i was the one and then later when i got married my wife had a confidence that you are a damn good actor nobody in this world have a confidence that my when i thought so what happened this when i felt that i have lost everything i thought okay on the cost of acting i have lost everything so let me just gain this everything let let it be the way it is if it is not happening it is not destined to happen let it be the way it is at least let me gain the, what i hold mm. i hold confidence i am a sensible man i am losing my sensibility i am asking work for like beggars because the desperation makes you do everything yeah. i am dying i am hungry mm. i am hungry for work now if suddenly anurag kashyap comes mm. what will come in your mind mm. anurag is a big maker over there and i was no one so i used to say yaar mere ko kaam de na mere ko kaam de i need you i need work mm. whoever comes sir i need work now they don't see you the way you are seeing yourself they see okay one okay one actor mm. okay yaar batate batate so then i felt pity on myself one day mm. ki i have lost everything so i thought okay now no more no more asking okay no more asking that day work. you ruled it i ruled it little later i said no more asking for work let's just resume yourself let it be the way you were in bhopal mm. you are not the way you are in uh, any more mm. so the day i decided i started doing meditation and all i do meditation sir oh. and uh, i started doing meditation and all then later on i realized that now i am not asking anybody but there is inside there is a voice whenever i am meeting to somebody there is a voice okay inside voice please give me work like that is happening inside so i said this also is wrong mm. this should not happen i am meeting you as a person you yes. can't do anything for me mm. there is some other power which will do yeah. why am i asking you because then the moment i understood that i left everything then there is nothing happened like i have come to you over here with not this the intention that this will help me or not this doesn't happen to me now anymore it happens what happens is a wife i am enjoying your wife i am talking to you as a friend that's it that day changed life things started happening mm. so then i used to sit and take care of my kids and family and all one day my daughter sara mm. sara arjun my my next question sara actually <laughs> she is an angel mm. of my life the angel sir. and she i say she is my mother mm. sometime she is a care sir sir you have love marriage or arranged i had arranged marriage sir but uh, by choice it was uh, that also have a different story i will finish it up in short story while doing theater i am from uh, sindhi family so in sindhi everybody wants a good uh, damad mm. damad means ki jo khata ho acha paisa kamata ho businessman type that is a psychology sindhi type everybody wants uh, the daughter to be to go in that house and all so i was not getting married because everybody was coming and seeing and running away mm. because i used to say i am an actor i will become an actor only my brother used to say are yaar jhoot bol de na bol de acting karu main karu main nahi i can't say that so that's how sanya came in my life and uh, her aunt used to work with me in theater she Who? her aunty okay. my wife's aunty used to do theater with me she used to play my mother so she said why are you not getting married i said milti nahi hai ladki hmm. sab bhag jate hain sab bhag gaye rahe main struggling actor hmm. and i'm saying that i will do all my life i will do acting or nothing so she said there is a girl and i met her and we liked it each other that's how it happened so sara so sara is an angel no, one of, second yeah ippudu varaku ayin cheppindi endante ayin life lo etto struggle face inga em cheyali life lo evvarna kanipinchina sare work adagali 
కామ్ ఖచ్చితంగా చేయాల్సిందే కదా అన్న ఒక మైండ్ సెట్లో ఉన్నప్పుడు ఆయన లైఫ్లోకి ఇంకా అడగకూడదు ఎవరిని అడిగినా సరే ఎవరు ఏం చేయలేరు వచ్చేటప్పుడు వస్తుందని చెప్పేసి మెడిటేట్ చేసి ఆయన లైఫ్కి ఆయన మార్చుకున్న విధానం ఆయన మీద ఆయన నిలబడిన విధానం అంతా కూడా చెప్పుకొచ్చారు ఇప్పుడు మధ్యలో ఆయన పెళ్లి ప్రస్తావన వచ్చినప్పుడు అందరూ వస్తున్నారంట చూస్తున్నారంట వెళ్ళిపోతున్నారంట కారణం ఏంటంటే ఒక యాక్టర్ ఒక బర్డింగ్ యాక్టర్ ఎవరు చేసుకుంటాడు చూస్తున్నారు ఓకే అంటున్నారు వెళ్ళిపోతున్నారు ఎవరు పెళ్లి చేసుకోవట్లేదు అలాంటి టైంలో ఈయనకి థియేటర్ ఆర్ట్స్లో ఒక 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 హీరోయిన్కి మదరగా చేసే ఒక ఆమె ఏమ ఈయనకు కూడా మధ్యలో మదరగా చేస్తున్న ఒక ఆంటీ ఎందుకు పెళ్లి కావట్లేదంటే ఎవడు చేసుకోవట్లేదంటే ఐ హ్యావ్ నేను చూపిస్తానని చెప్పేసి ఒక అమ్మాయిని చూపించింది ఆమె ఈయన భార్య అయింది వాళ్ళిద్దరికి పుట్టిన పాపే సారా హీరోయిన్ అయింది ఆ సారా స్టోరీ ఇప్పుడు ఆయన చెప్తారు సార్ ప్లీజ్ సో సారా ఈజ్ సార్ హౌ ఈజ్ ఇట్ ట్రాన్స్లేషన్ సూపర్ సార్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ సార్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఐఎమ్ థరోలీ ఎంజాయింగ్ దిస్ ఇంటర్వ్యూ సార్ బికాస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ లైక్ ఇంటర్వ్యూ ఇంటర్వ్యూ వన్ ఇట్స్ అ కన్వర్జేషన్ ఆఫ్ టు ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఆఫ్ టు ఫ్రెండ్స్ అండ్ వి ఆర్ షేరింగ్ ది ఎక్స్‌పీరియన్సెస్ ఆఫ్ ది లైఫ్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ సో దేర్ ఇస్ నో హిడెన్ అండ్ హార్డ్ లైక్ ఐ ఎమ్ నాట్ బిహేవింగ్ లైక్ ఎన్ యాక్టర్ యు ఆర్ నాట్ బిహేవింగ్ లైక్ లైక్ ఎ జర్నలిస్ట్ యాంకర్ జర్నలిస్ట్ హూ వాంట్స్ లైక్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఆర్ గాసిప్స్ అండ్ ఆల్ దేర్ ఇస్ నథింగ్ గాసిప్ హ్యాపనింగ్ అండ్ ఆల్ so i was talking about sara sir she has entered in my life like an angel so where there was a rough phase and uh, she came so that i took care of her upbringing and all after that one point i didn't have any work and all i was thinking to go back to gopal suddenly sara was noticed on my lap in my lap in a mall hmm. and one friend saw and said sir we are making a film will you help us we have no money can you just help us i said okay one one film another one came to know that he is helping without money he said we are helping uh, making a short film in short films i have no money so you will help us i said okay that's fine that's how sara's work started sir i oh. have no plan hmm. i have not done anything else ipudu varaku sara ani cheptunnaru kada sara evaro kadu nanna ane oka cinema lo telugu varandarki parichayamaina vikram kootru character chesindi anushka shetty kootru character chesindi ammaye sara అప్పటి నుంచి కూడా ఒక ఏంజిల్ లాగా అందరూ కూడా అమ్మాయిని చూడగానే అందరు అబ్బాయి ఎంత బ్యూటిఫుల్గా ఉందని మన ఇంట్లో చిన్నపిల్లలు అందరినీ కూడా ముద్దు చేసుకునేట్టు మనం ముద్దు చేసుకునేవాళ్ళం ఆ పాపే సారా ఆ సారానే ఈ రాజార్జున్ కూతురు ఇప్పుడు చెప్పండి సార్ సో దట్స్ హౌ ఇట్ స్టార్ట్ అమ్మాయి అమ్మాయి కూడా ఒక ఎక్కడో ఒక మాల్లో ఈయన కాలు మీద కూర్చున్నప్పుడు షార్ట్ ఫిలిం చేసుకోవడానికి కూడా డబ్బులు లేని ఒక వ్యక్తి సార్ మీ అమ్మాయిని ఆడుకొని కొంచెం మేము డబ్బులు ఇవ్వలేము అమ్మాయితో యాక్ట్ చేయించుకుంటాం అంటే ఓకే తీసుకెళ్ళమని చెప్పాడు ఈ రాజార్జున్ అలా అలా అమ్మాయి షార్ట్ ఫిలిమ్స్లో అలా అలా పరిచయం చేస్తా ప్రపంచానికి పరిచయం అయింది ఇప్పుడు ఒక పెద్ద సినిమాతో హీరోయిన్గా రాబోతుంది అది ఆయన మాటలో విందాం సార్ ప్లీజ్ సో లైఫ్ హ్యాడ్స్ ఇట్స్ ఓన్ ప్లాన్ సార్ యూ కాంట్ ప్లాన్ లైఫ్ అండ్ ఐ యూస్ టు ప్లాన్ అట్ ఫర్ మీ నథింగ్ వర్క్ అండ్ వెన్ ఐ స్టాప్ వర్క్ ప్లానింగ్ everything worked mm. so sara started working people started calling how i don't know we have not done till now we have not done any portfolio for sara she is not there in any social platform i have kept her away from social platform she got mobile at the age of 16 mm. no mobiles and that too i have sent her to isha home school for mm. study so that she don't get mobile over there also isha foundation foundation she studies in isha foundation in coimbatore coimbatore so no phone for more to two years so fortunately she started working now working so then i have to take care of her i have to take her for the audition i have to take care for the shooting how to also. chance get to the tamil film industry sir for sara so then people started taking her in the ads one day vijay al vijay came to bombay and venus film called him for direction and venus film called us for uh, one ad called melosa coffee that was sara's first ad oh melosa yes, coffee melosa coffee first ad so that's how sara and vijay met and then they started working together then vijay used to come to bombay regularly for ads and all he used to make ads with sara also and that's how we developed a relationship with vijay ayal vijay he is very close to me he is like yeah. a brother to us now so he is a local he is in a way guardian to sara now and uh, that's how we develop a connection with him and when he was making this film devathru magal because he worked with sara in so many ads and all he thought about her her and then he casted her in this and then she gave the audition and all we passed the process and that's how she did devathru magal in telugu also that film do that very film well. well very well nana that nana. nana it was released in uh, by the name of nana then then there is another film which vijay made called saimam 
which was re- released uh, when uh, rajendra prasad garu rajendra prasad garu dagudu motela danda kor danda kor and now it was produced by rajiv and krish over here krish so, director krish and rajiv sir yeah yeah so it did wonders for uh, those anyway so in this rough time when sara was working i was busy taking care of her mm. So, yeah, you so are the guardian of Sara only. Guardian, I just took care, and people know me, Sara's father. Nobody mm. knew I am an actor. <laughs> people started forgetting Sara's father, Sara's father. So at the same time, I used to feel proud, but at the same time, there was an actor who was feeling bad that I am nowhere now. Mm. So I was just trying to figure it out, but nothing happened. But all this time passed so well in upbringing her, giving her good good education, or taking care of my family. and suddenly i took a front seat and she took a back seat <laughs> and the moment she came back seat i just took her because i intentionally wanted a break sir for her because what is happening with her is a bonus mm. i never planned that but but how she is uh, uh, stop the Work. shooting and going to the studies it is because we are all united family and she respects me a lot and she understands us and she is grounded still okay. she is untouched by the glamour and she knew it that she wants to become a heroine and i have made her that way that you have to go to the zenith she has to go on a long way she was not there to learn. and also sir i believe that kids who come regularly on a screen and they get a lot of exposure exposure also and then the energy and the talent you have is exposed na mm-hmm. so i wanted to keep her away after teenage and education is also very important, very important which yeah. i strongly believe so i told okay now it's enough and now you go and then study focus and then you come later whatever is decided will happen and so did happen sir mani sir chose her in yes. uh, ponium salon ponium salon 2 uh, and then she got uh, she be, she was seen by um, some telugu makers over here now she is coming under gautam tinnuri is director gautam tinnuri jersey director yeah she is who is the hero play. sir there are all young uh, young buddies it yeah. is a story of young uh, boys and girls so so what i missed out that in this time sir sara was uh, working and i was not working and then i got work and then this is what happened nana ne cinema lo chesin tarvata bharat desh andarki kuda recognition na papa tarvata chaala ads lo ganapadindi andaru tamil nadu ammay anukune vallu cut chesthe madhya pradesh ammay bhopal ammay a bhopal ammay ni malli kanapadakonda chadugu kuda chaala important ani తన ఫ్యామిలీ సర్కమ్స్టెన్స్ అంతా ఇలా ఉంటుంది మేము చెప్పింది చేయాలి గ్రౌండెడ్గా ఉండాలి పిల్లలు పెద్ద పెద్ద ఆశలకి వెళ్ళకూడదు గ్లామర్ ఫీల్డ్ వైపు ఇంత వ్యామోహం ఉండద్దు నువ్వు ముందు చదువుకో తర్వాత నిన్ను హీరోయిన్ చేస్తానని ఆయన చెప్పి స్టడీస్కి పంపించి ఈషా ఫౌండేషన్లోని సద్గురు దగ్గర స్టడీస్ని చేయించుకొని ఇప్పుడు మళ్ళీ హీరోయిన్గా గౌతమ్ తిన్ననూరి అనే ఒక మన జెర్సీ దర్శకుడు ఉన్నాడు ఆయనతో ఒక కొత్త సినిమాకి ప్రాజెక్ట్కి సైన్ చేసిందంట సారా ఇది ఆ సారా స్టోరీ right sir Sarah, yes right absolutely right nahi baat shuru hui thi breakthrough <laughs> i already missed it again so breakthrough sara was called for one audition mm. and i left it as i said ki main chhod diya tha mm. i left it ki yaar ab hoga hoga dekhenge let me be happy and i started being very very happy the way it is i enjoyed it i was doing theater also one day sara was called for audition for a film where i went over here over there that's why i call her angel of my life and turning point mm-hmm. this this is the story. this is the point this is the pointer and uh, here is the answer of your breakthrough and all so i was sitting in one office and uh, she went inside to meet the casting director casting director came out he asked me mukesh chawla and then he asked me raj bhai aap yahan par aur aate nahi aajkal mukesh chawla mukesh chawla okay he, he met me he said he knows me he said raj bhai kahan ho itne saalon se aate nahi ho aap milte nahi ho i was smiling ki kahan milu kya milu mil to liya i met him so many times and after a point you feel hesitation you feel amber is how many times you will touch one man again and again so i stopped going so he said there is one thing uh, one something for you please audition for this uh, tomorrow i said no not tomorrow today because the fire is always there inside i am an actor i am dying for this from years so what will i do one day if there is the process of preparation of years so i said i will do it now i did it and mm. sort that is what secret happened secret oh, happened secret superstar secret superstar so we went over there for sara for another film but that is how secret superstar happened and that changed my life. that that is the destiny sir this is destiny yeah. so i was not called for proper or, or audition or something by anyone i was just sitting there with sara 
so i tell in joke i tell sara tu meri maa hai <laughs> she say what nonsense are you talking about you have become because of you and all so he said no i said no always in life turning rough time you somehow have come up and came up yes so this is how secret superstar happened shiva garu and then after secret superstar there is no looking back i was called for dear comrade yes then i did watch yeah the, he's a he's a superstar in telugu vijay, vijay devar konda see they did they saw a secret superstar okay. they noticed my work they called me over here i did this film but you don't know telugu how you dub yourself i'm so passionate mm. of everything whatever i do either i don't do it if i do it i put my heart soul everything into it then i don't see anything else in kasim raju character also you did dubbing yes, it is my dubbing yeah my dubbing how it started uh, razakar was offered to me and i was so excited while hearing the narration mm. i got goosebumps and all mm. i thought that i have to do this film come what may mm. so i came he, he is the first time director how you believe him no up till now director is not in the frame no. till now only the producer i am talking to one um, uh, ramu ji garu called me from their, their, their department and then they hired me everything was on phone hmm. that we want you as kasim rajvi i think what is happening and then when i came over here the first time director jata uh, satyanarayan satyanarayan jata sat i will tell you the great story about him also hmm. so now we will talk about the razakar at least hmm. because i am excited to share lot of happy uh, yes experiences with so i came with thorough preparation as i go everywhere with thorough preparation with uh, the dialogues i have been asking them i was after them to send me the script over there over here they thought why is he after us why is he eating our head like like this and we will just send but they after me forcing them so much they send it me the script i throw i did it thoroughly i just eat that i lived with that yes. i hired teachers i said with them now telugu is a tough language sir yes and for me it is very tough but what to do there is no other for me either do or die i said i will perform the way i want to do it how will you do that if you don't understand the meaning yes. if you don't can't pronounce the word how will you do that you have to understand then only you can play na everything i did mm. so then i learned it then i learned it that at home i started performing it because somewhere i want to run somewhere i want to sit somewhere i want to stand in the performance itself so it you need to know where to take pause where to stop yeah if you don't need the know, know the words so i learned it by all my efforts and all i learned the language and i came over here now for them it was not uh it, they were not ready for this that i will thoroughly come prepared mm. they thought one actor is coming mm. we will just prompt and everybody he will go happy we will go happy that's it so you won't believe that one day i was just performing it was just a beginning day and all so i was because kasim has delivered some dialogues in hindi as well yeah to jab main hindi mein bolne laga to assistant started prompting me hmm hindi mein bhi hindi mein bhi so i looked at him i said hello what are you doing So he said prompting. I said I don't need prompting. Mm. Why are you prompting my own language? Mm. It is Hindi. Mm. It is my first. Mm. ये मेरा धर्म है. ये करके आना. You have called me all the way. आप मुझे इतने पैसे दे रहे हो. अगर मैं अपनी लाइनें भी याद करके नहीं आऊँगा, तो मुझे तो शर्म से मर जाना चाहिए. Yeah. तो he is. Both name. both actors को शर्म आना गया. हाँ. तो मैंने कहा फिर तो मेरा आना क्या है? Yeah. तो मैं यहाँ picnic बनाने तो नहीं आया हूँ ना भाई. तो मैंने कहा प्रॉम्प्ट मत करना मुझे अच्छा नहीं लगता है तो डोंट प्रॉम्प्ट आल्सो आई एम वेरी डिसिप्लिनड एक्टर सर आई डोंट लाइक नॉइस व्हेन शॉट इज गोइंग ऑन सो ओवर हियर सम टाइम्स सम पीपल टॉक एंड ऑल सो आई यूज्ड टू स्टॉप आई सेड हेलो कीप गोइंग साइलेंस बिकॉज़ कासिम रिजवी यू हैव सीन इट यस ही डजंट नीड शोर और आसपास और परफॉर्म करना इट इज नॉट हल्का इट इज नॉट अ लो परफॉर्मेंस इट इज ऑन अ टॉप 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 नॉच टॉप नॉच इट इज अ इंटरनल कैरेक्टर it creates goosebumps it, it shakes your spine if, if there is no kasim rajvi there is no rajakar film thank you sir thank you bro uh, i'm proudly say that i saw every every artist i know everyone but you still are uh, you are the star of that movie why because uh, there is a soul there is a soul connection in that particular that is villainy or hero whatever it is if there is a soul mm-hmm. automatically people will connect and love that character that's why i i love you character sir thank you sir thank, thank you. you so <coughs> sorry 
so i did it and i performed it in telugu also i did it mm. they were shocked to see it. they were surprised to see it. Mm. then director also didn't have yata sir mm. didn't have confidence in me on the very first day mm. he also because it is not his fault i one of the actor have come from the bombay producer or somebody director sir has seen my pictures and they have seen some of my work they will not be they were not prepared that i will come so thoroughly prepared so first day i was trying and i am an actor who does what i feel i don't go overboard if i'm not feeling like this i will not do it so initially first day he said to do something and for me it was little over it was i felt i am doing over acting mm. so I, inside i was just dying i said oh this is first day i have to spend with him 70 days 60 days how will i do we are not matching our mm. vibe is not matching mm. vibe means he wants something else yeah. i have prepared in some other manner mm. i have internally internalized it i have lived the character and i have eaten it slept with it and i am thoroughly prepared now maybe he wants to change the sur or he wants to go somewhere else so on that particular day first day i did that scene whatever he said ultimately director is the captain of the ship Shit. you have to respect it respect whether 100% you, like you. It or you don't like it it is your job and this is what you are paid for and maybe at that particular moment you are thinking about your craft but he is seeing the whole film together so i believe that but i called him in the night we were shooting in ramudi rao film city so setara hotel i called him and said i want your time sir i i need to meet you and i told him sir i am not very happy the way today i did i feel i am i could do more better and all and this i am shouting shouting only it looks like so he said no this scene demanded that yeah. what has happened before this as this and uh, that is why won't you do this i said i will definitely do what you have made to do so i said sir i request you please let us right now ki what i have done in all my scenes because i was forcing them to send me the script this the script was not sent to me mm. so it was not my fault so only they could see send me the scene suppose you are shooting four after five days or 10 days you are shooting one scene number 37 so they will send 37 now you don't know what has happened in 36 okay so i said no 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 sir today i have adjusted from first scene number first to and you just make me write everything what kasim rasbi has done so we sat around 3 o'clock in the night tomorrow mm. next day we were shooting at 6 a.m in the morning we together sat in the hall i wrote every scene kept graph so that at least i'm ready what has happened before yes. and i can make my and i think from that day maybe he noticed my dedication maybe he noticed something or the other from second day we were on the same page exact same page so from Super. second day i had no problem with him till last day and i used to ask him from second day sir aap kuch to bolo hmm. you do kuch to theek karwao matlab i want you to tell me correct it and he said sir you fine you fine everything is fine yes. i said sir yesterday you were saying today you give me input sir so he started liking me and i started uh, having good reputation with him though he also is not able to talk hindi and english he is not yeah. very good in so that why there was a communication gap but sir you don't need words you don't need language you need ice ice you see love from ice i don't know telugu but i am dubbing for myself huh? because that is what it, cinema doesn't need love yes. uh, words cinema need feeling feeling emotion and emotion and that is what i know and that is what is my forte that is what i am strong at i know that if i can live kasim rizvi it will reach to you so okay. that is what how yata and uh, me became close and uh, did it sir ippudu varaku cheppindi endante inike vijay devarakonda cinema la kuda dear comrade lo vachindi kuda vaasham secret superstar ani american cinema chusi aa tarvata varsaga inike avakasalu ostune unnai chaala rojulu tarvata eppudu nunchi edru chustunna oka character kosam edru chustunnadu aa character rajakar roopamlo vachindi ఫస్ట్ ఫస్ట్ డైరెక్టర్ ఈయనకి వచ్చి కథ చెప్పలేదు ప్రొడ్యూసర్స్ సైడ్ నుంచి వచ్చి వీళ్ళకి కథ చెప్తే ఈయన మొత్తం నచ్చి ఇతను నేను చేస్తాను ఒక ఫుల్ లెంగ్త్ క్యారెక్టర్ అని చెప్పి ఇక్కడికి వచ్చిన తర్వాత ఫస్ట్ డే షూటింగ్లో చాలా రఫ్గా అరుస్తూ ఉన్నాడు 
అయినా సరే కూడా డైరెక్టర్ కానీ ఎవరు కూడా నో చెప్పకపోయేసరికి ఈయనలో ఈయన ఫీల్ అయిపోయి డైరెక్టర్ గారికి నైట్ పదింటికి ఫోన్ చేసి తెల్లవారుదాం మూడింటి దాకా కూర్చొని నా సీన్లన్నిటికి సంబంధించి నాకు ముందే చెప్పండి అని చెప్తే అప్పుడు డైరెక్టర్ వచ్చి తెల్లవారుదాం మూడింటి దాకా ఇచ్చి ఆ తర్వాత రోజు పొద్దున ఏడు గంటలకి షూటింగ్ స్టార్ట్ చేసుకున్నారంట అప్పుడు వాళ్ళిద్దరు కలిసిన కలవటం మళ్ళీ సినిమా అయిపోయిన దాకా కూడా వాళ్ళిద్దరు కలిసే ఉన్నారు వాళ్ళిద్దరు అందుకనే అంత మంచి అవుట్పుట్ వచ్చిందని చెప్పి చెప్తున్నారు ఆయన యూ అండ్ యాటా సార్ అండ్ ప్రొడ్యూసర్ గూడూర్ నారాయణ రెడ్డి ఇట్ వెంట్ వెరీ వెల్ సార్ ఫిలిం బట్ ఇట్స్ ఎ స్మాల్ బడ్జెట్ ఫిలిం ఐ థింక్ పెళ్ళే సార్ వాట్ హ్యాపెన్ ఐ వాంట్ టు బ్రింగ్ గుదూర్ నారాయణ రెడ్డిస్ నేమ్ ఓవర్ హెడ్ ఐ వాంట్ టు ఎంఫసైజ్ ఎస్ ఎస్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ సార్ వై దెర్ ఆర్ ఫ్యూ థింగ్స్ విచ్ ఐ వాంట్ టు బ్రింగ్ ఇన్ నోటీస్ యాజ్ అ ఫస్ట్ టైమ్ ఫిల్మ్ మేకర్ ఐ హ్యావ్ వర్క్ ఇన్ లాట్స్ ఆఫ్ ఫిల్మ్స్ సార్ ఎస్ and there are some films which i did which i have never seen the light hmm. those were good films but producer took back out and over here gudun narayan reddy came like a king hmm. and he had a lot of issues which i know financial issues while making this film other issues as well but he didn't let us know about it or he didn't let us suffer or he didn't let us suffer the film that's why i just love him mm-hmm. i tell him that you are like a brotherly figure to us mm-hmm. because some people the head of the family what do they do if the kids are, uh, if they are in the problem they don't share this problem to their kids or the family yeah right, right. they say that everything is fine you do what you want would do narayan reddy they he, this man has that quality yeah. and he just said that you make a good film meaningful sensible film i just want to show what has happened to our ancestors in our history you don't worry about money you won't believe sir the budget initially was 12 crore mm. it reached to 50 crores yes 50 12 crore. to 50 12 to 15 25% to 100% how much you can stretch yeah. 12 to 15 18 20 that's it that's it he went to 50 crores also even then there was a smile yeah on the face and he said raj what do you want hmm. what do you want to do hmm. you, to the director what do you want you tell me none of the days i have seen that there is no jimmy chip trolley there that everything we went to mysore palace matlab you ask for anything he will provide yes. that's it he hmm. wanted a good cinema yeah. so i and why i am here sir today because i wanted to work this film to the extreme level because i have seen yata sir's hard work gudu sir sir hard work and every team member my no sir it's a it's a historical film it's no historical. it's a ancestor so so many people suffered at that time yes in this film only 1% we have seen two very true sir mm-hmm. and uh, what happens is this kind of cinema we have seen telugu industry has produced so many or had made mind blowing films yeah i just want to add that this is one of the film 100% sir for which telugu industry name will go up only yes like there is uh, bahubali, bahubali is there Ar- yes. pushpa is there and then rrr is there there are lots of other films which i am not aware but this is among one of that film also parallelly you will not we have not tried definitely to- sir in my review mm-hmm. some some shots directed by rajamouli or uh, sukumar sir or uh, what boy party sir uh, who ever it direct the film equivalent the equivalent emotion and the carry the he fights and everything because yata sir has worked with them he is from one he has a strong educational background mm. so he maybe he's less expressive there are few people who talk less yes right but doesn't mean they're not intelligent enough oh. he is very intelligent so he has a background of journalism mm. he used to live in that village where this has happened where razakar has mm. done have done that so he knows this story from there his ancestors that's why that's why he did so fantastic so convincing, convincingly yeah. and and also he has read a lot because being in journalism mm. you know better yes. you have to write and read so that intelligence is reflecting gudur sir also is a lawyer yeah and also in his uh, uh, village gudur his uh, father uh, four fathers four fathers have seen razakar he has seen the torture he told me that his mother was sent to bombay 
to be saved from razakars hmm. when she was 7 year old hmm. though at that time the, the rapes and all were happening with the females and all but who doesn't get scared so they sent it the his mother was sent to bombay so this why should not we say this story and we are not creating a hindrance we are not saying by this film ki okay unhone wo kiya to abhi aap maro mm. no. no 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 so it has got nothing to do with propaganda and it has got nothing to do with politics or something what what is cinema cinema yeah. is a medium of the expression and it's a story telling yeah we are just telling you a story now this story belongs to our history we are telling a history yes. that's it that's it hum nahi kare ab humko bhai humko musliman acche nahi lagte hain hmm. maine kam kahi nahi kare kabhi nahi kare na one musliman hero bhi ban gaya imraus us film mein ek musliman ko bhi tumhara razakar hmm. hmm. razakar ka mindset is kasim rizvi ka mindset ye hai ki shayad maine kasim rizvi ne बचपन में ये सपना देखा होगा कि मुझे एक मुस्लिम स्टेट चाहिए बात खत्म अब मैं अगर मुस्लिम स्टेट बनाना चाह रहा हूँ तो इसमें क्या प्रॉब्लम है मेरे को बनाना है अब इसमें कोई भी प्रॉब्लम करेगा वो हिंदू करेगा मुस्लिम करेगा क्रिश्चियन करेगा मैं उसको मारूंगा क्योंकि मुझे राजा बनना है और ये तो निजाम ने भी नहीं प्लान किया था ना ये तो मेरी प्लानिंग है ये तो मेरा सपना है तो मैं वो करूँगा तो इसलिए मैंने ये डिसाइड किया है कि इस फिल्म के प्रमोशन में मैं जहाँ तक रह सकता हूँ वो मेरा फर्ज है ये मेरी ड्यूटी है yes. मुझे करना है मुझे चाहिए कि वो फिल्म जो है बहुत लोग देखें बहुत लोगों तक बात जाए और सबको ये पता चले कि जेन्यून ऑनेस्ट ईमानदारी से बनाई हुई एक कमाल की क्लासिक फिल्म है सर क्लासिक एजुकेशनल फिल्म यस इपड़ी ना चुप्त एंत प्रमोशन चेयर इतनी ना ड्यूटी और मंजु सि తెలుగు సినిమా అనేది బాహుబలిలు త్రిపులార్లు పుష్పాలు ఇలాంటి అనేక సినిమాలు వస్తున్న టైంలో వాటి పక్కన నించునే ఒక ప్లేస్ ఉంది రాజాకర్ అనే ఒక సినిమాకి ఎందుకంటే ఇట్స్ ఇట్స్ ఏ హిస్టరీ ఇది మన పూర్వీకుల హిస్టరీ ఈ గూడూరు నారాయణ రెడ్డి గారి ఎవరైతే అమ్మ ఉన్నారో చిన్నప్పుడు ఏడేళ్ల వయసులోని ఈ రజాకర్లు ఆడపిల్లల్ని ఎన్నో రకాలుగా హింసిస్తారు రేపులు చేస్తారు మానభంగాలు చేస్తారని చెప్పేసి భయపడిపోయి వాళ్ళ అమ్మని ఇక్కడ గూడూరు నుంచి బాంబే పంపించి అక్కడ సేవ్ చేశారట ఇలాంటి కథలు ఎన్నో ఉన్నాయి దీన్ని మనం సినిమాగా తీసి ఏ ముస్లింని అప్పుడేదో ముస్లిమ్స్ ఇలా చేశారు ఇప్పుడు మేము ముస్లిమ్స్ని కొట్టేస్తాం ముస్లిం చంపేస్తామని చెప్పడం మా ఉద్దేశం కాదు ఇది నిజాం కన్నా కళ కూడా కాదు కాసిం రిజ్వీ అనే ఒక వ్యక్తీకరణ కళ ఆ కాసిం రిజ్వీ ఏం చేసుకున్నాడు ఒక ముస్లిం కింగ్డమ్ని స్థాపించాలనుకొని ఆ ముస్లింని మొత్తాన్ని ఏకం చేసి ప్రతి ఒక్కరు కూడా ముస్లింగానే ఉండాలనే ఒక కళ కన్నాడు ఆ కళని తీర్చుకోవడం కోసం అతను ఇవన్నీ చేశాడు అంతే తప్ప ఇది ఎంత హిస్టరీలో జరిగింది తప్ప మేము ఇప్పుడు ఎవరిని రెచ్చగొట్టే ఉద్దేశంతో ఈ సినిమా తీయలేదు ఇట్స్ ఏ వన్ ఆఫ్ ది బెస్ట్ హిస్టారికల్ ఫిలిం చాలా నిజాయితీగా తెరకెక్కిన ఫిలిము చాలా గొప్ప సినిమా ఏటా సత్యనారాయణ అనే వ్యక్తి జర్నలిజం నుంచి వచ్చాడు ఆయన ఆ ఊర్ల నుంచి వచ్చాడు ఎవరైతే రజాకారులతో ఇబ్బంది పడ్డారో ఆ ఊర్ల నుంచి వచ్చిన వ్యక్తి కాబట్టి వాళ్ళకి స్టోరీస్ అంత బాగా తెలుసు అందుకే అంత నిజాయితీతో తెరకెక్కిన ఈ సినిమా ఖచ్చితంగా ఆడాలి నేను ప్రమోట్ చేసే ఉద్దేశం కూడా పది మందికి తెలియాలి ఇది నా డ్యూటీ అంటున్నారు రాజ్ అర్జున్ థ్యాంక్ యూ సార్ థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ యూ హ్యావ్ హై రికార్డ్ ఫర్ మై ఫిల్మ్ అండ్ i genuinely feel and i feel humble and uh, proud that i have been part of this film till now i used to think that secret superstar is perhaps my best performance but now after seeing the response and after seeing the shows i think that i have done much more one more step and one more thing you you, you saw the film in theater sir yes sir you were amg total film AMG, total film theater, total film sir arjun theater public is going mad sir. mad they are loving me so much i thought they will just hate me they there are comments they one person came to me he said if you could, I, i would have not been aware that you are an actor i would have murdered you hmm. then and there hmm. and then some people were shouting that if you meet us outside we would have beaten you hmm. we are aware that you are an actor we are leaving you hmm. but we hate you so much at the same time we love you so much and i can't tell you sir how much love i am getting yes. and i just want to repay this love mm. i want to repay i i feel uh ki this is giving me immense satisfaction that telangana audience and hyderabad and the people over here the hyderabad uh, industry is loving me so much and giving me so much respect i want to repay it by doing good work 
I want to take that responsibility that this man has been trusted by industry. And then I want to repay by doing good work and by doing more and more hard work. I just want to do something for Yadda sir and for Guru, Guru sir also. And I want this film for uh, to work because for them also. So that industry will grow. Yes. See, it is his first film. But he has not seen it is 12 crore or 50 crore. He has put it. Yes. And he took me. He could have taken any big star. Yes. He took a chance and I am aware about it. That he took a chance. He has that gut feeling. Yata sir. They could have approached. If they have 50 crores, they can give 10 crore or 5 crore to an, uh, a big star. Na? But even then, what they did, they went with honesty. They chose the character. You don't, uh, uh, sir, not only me, you see any smallest character. Yes, sir. Character. Yes, sir. Not only you, sir. Not only me. Yeah. So I, many characters is there. Any smallest character. Anasuya did fantastic uh, songs. Uh, song. That Batukamma song. Yes. You see Batukamma song. One song she comes, she creates. And, and, and Yata Sarav acting that film, uh, that song. Are yeah. what a song the, it is. The man who is doing drum, sir, in that song gives you goosebumps. Everybody you see smallest character even in the song when Bobby, Bobby Simha is not mm, No, Bobby Simha. Uh -huh. Bobby Simha and Vedika. Vedika. Indraja. Prema. You, you get shocked. I felt like everybody around me is so good. This is what, what happens, sir. Good souls. Good energy. Once, once they all meet now, it creates magic. This Ramesh D.O.P. I want to mention hmm. is Ramesh. also also like this. They they put their soul, all the assistants, Mahidhar and they, they put their hard work in that and it has come. It has flourished like a flower. So that's why I want this film to work and to be seen by lots of people. And I promise you that I will keep working hard and hard and hard and I will keep giving you one or the another better performances and better films if I have been given an opportunity. Fantastic, sir. I know. I know that you are immense support to your film. Uh, Yata, sir, paid advance, 50,000 advance to a dubbing artist. Mm. And he was unhappy. Why he was unhappy? Because I performed while doing the scene. I performed all my scenes. So the pilot was there. So he could match that. Mm. This went in my favor. If I would have come like one actor, okay, prompt. He would have not seen in my eyes. Yes. He saw I am performing in front of him. And then he saw it in pilot. My voice is there. He couldn't replace it. So he was bound and he said, sir, you do it. And I worked hard and it is okay. I'm so proud that I have given my voice. I don't understand a single word in Telugu, sir. But so I great, sir. Done, done that. I don't know you dubbed your own voice. My voice. Sir. Yeah. My voice. It's, a, it's a fantastic. Voice, I don't know, sir. Finally, uh, what is your next project, sir? So there are uh, few, I'm blessed now, lots of, uh, few of my very good works, uh, very good projects are coming. Uh, till now, sir, if you ask me uh, how many films you have done, I will say I have done three films. Huh? Why? <laughs> Why is that? One, one, because, sir, there are some films you have to do and there are some films you get connected. And there are some films where you can feel that you have given your best. So there are some films which I couldn't do my best and all, or I couldn't do best. I don't consider that that these are my films in that way. Talaybi also you are you're amazing, you're you're amazing. Films, yeah. masterpiece. It is. Yes. it is there on Netflix, and it is still a masterpiece. Aram Virupan I did, and I thought. Yeah, Virupan I do. This is what I'm saying. See all those films, even in company I did a small role. That is my film. They are all in close to my heart. What I'm saying is that this will remain a best works. Best, my best work is in three films only. If you want to see Raj Achyam as an actor, only watch three films: Secret Superstar, Talavi, and Razaka. Don't watch rest of the thing for my performance. Now, Gam Gam Ganesha will come, sir, with oh. Anand, Anand Devar Kunda. Yeah, oh. I have a very interesting project with uh, Anand Devar Kunda, Pradeep, uh, and uh, Shetty uh, Uday Shetty is. Uh, Director, young filmmaker, fantastic filmmaker, and uh, what a film! Sir. It's a good light heart comedy and all. And uh, I'm playing main villain in that. Then there is another film with. Uh, you loved main villains or heroes? I I I look out for such challenging, extraordinary roles. I, sir, in a way, what you are, you do that in life also. I get bored very fast by monotonous life and all. Okay. By simple life. Same applies in films. I get bored by simple roles and all. 
I don't want it to do simple roles. I want to do roles which lot of actors get scared of, mm. and lot of actors don't touch it. That we will not be able to. I want to come into that genre. The people should think about me when they should feel, oh yeah, this nobody else can do. Only Raj Arjun can be called for this. Yeah, that's it. When the performance comes. they should remember my name whether they call me or not but whenever there is a talk about the acting they should think about me so like prakash raj sir like prakash raj sir like there are other um, so many actors so that is what is my motto i don't want to do so many films sir okay but not whenever, number whenever the yeah, number doesn't uh, uh, matter uh, matter for me what matters is that whenever after 5 year 10 years 20 years you see my film it should look like a masterpiece and not necessary that it is it should be a main villain this role should be extraordinary and without me that film should not work why i am saying because i have done some films thinking that this uh, role would be fruitful but then later i realized that if this role is not there also it does not make any difference so i don't want to do those role which does not make difference for film like you said without kasim rizvi there is no film yes. i want to do films which are based that way that one one shoulder on one shoulder yeah. if if the films half of the portion is dependent on the other shoulder half should be mine also so you cannot take film without me i want films only that fantastic ipun nen cheste cinema lanni kuda bhujam anta oka bhujam nenai undali మాస్టర్ పీసుల్లాగా ఉండాలి ఇప్పటి వరకు నేను ఎన్నో సినిమాలు చేసి ఉండొచ్చు కానీ నా బెస్ట్ సినిమాలు రాజ్ అర్జున్ చేసిన సినిమాలు ఏంటి అంటే సీక్రెట్ సూపర్ స్టార్ అనే అమెరికన్ సినిమా అలాగే తలైవి అని ఏఎల్ విజయ్ డైరెక్టర్గా చేసిన జయలలిత బయోపిక్ సంబంధించిన సినిమా ఇప్పుడు రాజాకర్ ఈ మూడు సినిమాలు మాత్రమే నేను చేశాను ఇప్పటి వరకు నేను చేసిన వర్క్ అంతా కూడా యాజ్ ఏ వర్క్గా చేశాను తప్ప దీస్ ఆర్ మై సోల్ ఫిలిమ్స్ ఇవే నేను యాక్ట్ చేసింది ఇక్కడి నుంచి చేయబోయే కూడా దీనికి మించి ఉండే చేస్తాను తప్ప ఏది పడితే అది చేయను నాకు నెంబర్ ముఖ్యం కాదు నాకు మంచిగా గుర్తుపెట్టుకొని ప్రతి ఒక్కరు అబ్బాయి ఇతను లేకపోతే ఆ క్యారెక్టర్ లేదు అనేటట్టుగా ఉండే క్యారెక్టర్స్ మాత్రమే నేను చేస్తానని చెప్తున్నారు ఈయన ఎస్ యూ రైట్ సార్ సో గంగం గణేష ఇస్ దేర్ దెన్ దేర్ ఈస్ వన్ ఫిల్మ్ కాల్ యుద్రా 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 ఈజ్ అ హిందీ ఫిల్మ్ విచ్ ఐ హ్యావ్ కంప్లీటెడ్ షూటింగ్ విత్ excel entertainment for an actors company for an actors yeah, okay. yeah big reputed and a very nice company and all and uh, ravi utyavar mm. is a director of mom mom picture sri devi last yes yeah, yeah okay brilliant filmmaker brilliant uh, ravi and a lot ravi utyavar and uh, he is also a professor of jj school of arts and all so he looks to the frame as paintings and all so i thoroughly enjoyed working him with him too then there is another film called uh, match fixing which is uh, on the basis of india india and pakistan internal politics and all so that is also are completed so these are few ones which are lined up and all the films are equivalent good to me and were very very close to my heart what is the what is the very toughest frame to rajakar movie you acted that sir each and every scene was very very tough mm. what happens there is please act a- something <laughs> Oh my god what a intense <laughs> it, it has to go into it on the process so sir what happens ki any dialogues you remember sir i have to go into that psychology and uh, i can think about it but what i am trying to say more than that because see this has done by thinking only radhakar does this <laughs> i am totally zoned out for yes this. yes so uh, what i am saying that every seed of mine consciously and subconsciously there was a conflict mm-hmm. because sir there is rajarjun me mm-hmm. as an actor and there is kasim rizvi mm-hmm. now me as an actor as a human is thinking this is not right why are you killing him mm-hmm. why are you killing him so brutally brutally so brutally yes or why the hell this is happening this should have not happened or who does this now if me as a layman thinking who does this at the same time i have to do this so i have to keep this aside hey don't think like that come into this zone so this was a conflict consciously also it is not just like okay we are coming into the frame doing acting and going home it doesn't work which means sir i have to live into that zone and i that character this character for that time week 
so that I don't leave. And I do get scared of not leaving the character because if I involve, get involved in something else or in gossip or in party or in the rest of the things, I feel that the character might go. So I live that life at that particular time. And because of How this, many days he shot? So many days, sir. So many days. So for months. So I keep and go, but I don't leave that zone. So because of this, my family also suffers. Sometimes because I behave like that. I'm an irritated man. Mm. I'm agitating on small things. I'm not liking something. Or will say something which is not needed at home. Because I'm in that particular zone. And when I'm working on the script, if somebody is doing something which I should not read, I react sometime. What are you doing this and that? So, so my family suffers. And But I'm thankful that I've got a family who understand this temperament. So, but what I'm trying to say over here is that it is not that easy. And it just doesn't come and go. It leaves an impression. So, Raja Kasim Rizvi has left an impression on me. I came out a little later, slowly, slowly, slowly. And it gives you immense emptiness also. It takes you on a depression part also after a point. Because over here you are involved as Kasim Rizvi. Kasim Rizvi, you are thinking, sleeping, eating, eating like Kasim Rizvi. Suddenly, took nothing. Mm. The next day, nothing. Mm. Now, neither you are Kasim Rizvi nor you are Raja Chandra. You are in between. There is nothing. Kasim Rizvi and Raja Chandra. ఇద్దరి మధ్య జరిగిన ఒక పోరాటం అయితే ఏదైతే ఉందో దాన్ని నేను పూర్తిగా అనుభవించాను దీనికంటే ఆ టైంలో నేను నిజంగా కాశీం రాజు లాగా చాలా ఫులిష్గా చాలా అరగంట్గా ఉండేవాడిని నా మైండ్ అంతా కూడా చాలా సీరియస్గా ఉండేది ఇంట్లో వాళ్ళని కూడా ఎట్లా పడితే అట్లా మాట్లాడేవాడిని బట్ వాళ్ళందరూ కూడా నన్ను అర్థం చేసుకొని నాకు ఈ ట్రావెల్కి సహకరించారన్నారు ఇందాక ముందు మాట్లాడుతూ థియేటర్లో ఇన్ని సినిమా థియేటర్లో చూస్తా నీది సినిమా కాబట్టి బతికిపోయావు నిన్ను వేరేగా అయితే చంపేస్తావు అని చెప్పేసి ఆయనకి ఎన్నో బెదిరింపులు వచ్చినాయి మామూలు కొట్టేవాళ్ళం కాదు అని చెప్పేసి చెప్పుతుంటే ఆయన చాలా ఆనందపడ్డారు ఎందుకంటే ఒక నిజమైన నటుడికి ఒక నిజమైన ప్రశంస అదే ఎందుకంటే ఒక అబద్ధాన్ని కూడా వాస్తవంలాగా ఫీల్ అయ్యి ఆయన చంపేస్తాము ఆయన కొట్టేస్తాం అంటున్నారు అంటే ఆయన అందులో ఎంత నటించి ఎంత లేనమైపోయి నటించాడు అంత గొప్పగా నటించాడు కాబట్టి ఈరోజు ఆయనకి అంత పేరు వచ్చింది అని చెప్పి నేను అనుకుంటున్నాను ఫెంటాస్టిక్ సార్ యువర్ జర్నీ అండ్ యువర్ స్టోరీ అబౌట్ ద కాసిం రజీ స్టోరీ అండ్ విత్ Uh, you're emotional with the Raj Arjun. Yes, yes, yes. You were talking about this. Yes. Yeah, it so happened. And this get fills when the next journey comes. When the next role is offered. Otherwise, in between, you're fighting. <laughs> with Kasim Rizvi, with yourself. And then coming, going, coming, going. And then you fill it with something else. That is why we are called Patra. Patra means empty. But empty. And it has to be filled by character. Character. So sometimes my, I don't have my own character. I have forgotten my character because I have been playing so many characters. characters. So I, what am I? Sometimes I do forget. So, so, so this has to be filled by another or another and another so that I can serve. So my purpose is to do good cinema, good work. This is kind of a meditation for me. So, so I will just keep going in that path. Come what me. I will just serve to them. Sir, enjoy your meditation full life. <laughs> uh, this is the blessings. Thank you, sir. Thank yeah. you so much. You are the great actor. Thank Definitely you, you got the opportunities for the various film industries like Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, Kannada, Hindi. Everywhere, everywhere you are. Thank you. Uh, all so the much. very best. Thank and you, uh, you are, It's a beautiful interview. Um, this is the proud moment for me. Thank you. Why? So because much. I don't know the exact uh, conversation with you. But... Uh, you you traveled with the interview and your story it's very nice no sir what we need uh, as i said that we don't need words we need emotions yeah. your emotion was reaching to me yeah. the intensity the like cinema sir the, like, like cinema, cinema. it, it that's italian film or tamil film malayalam film yeah. this film is connecting with us right. automatically we will connect we see a lot of irani cinema mm. we, we don't understand we yes. see apna tamil telugu malayalam i don't understand the language but i see a lot of things like yes, that yes. so it travels the emotion travels and this is what we need and that's how i think i have come over here and all so fantastic sir it's a nice journey uh, great journey you have to future also um, please do a best works like rajakar i will keep doing that sir. yes yes, yes. yes. You, you and some people just a, it's a job yeah some people it's like life Yes, sir. You, you are in that path. Stay, please stay in that path only. 
enjoy your cinema your life your meditation yes sir huh? all the very best rajarjan thank sir you. thank you thank you great great thank great you. great thank you sir yeah thank you so much idi tag telugu lo ilanti oka beautiful interview chesanu naku chaala proud ga undindi denukante rajarjun manam chustunnatuga man kalla mundu aidu adugule undochu gaani ఆయన లోపల యాభై అడుగులు ఉన్నాడు ఎందుకంటే హిజ్ అ బ్రిలియంట్ యాక్టర్ బ్రిలియంట్ యాక్టర్ నేను ఎంతోమంది ఆర్టిస్టులను చూస్తుంటాను ఎంతోమంది ఆర్టిస్టులను చూసి కూడా నేను ఇంత ఎందుకు ముత్తుకుంటున్నాను అంటే ఖచ్చితంగా మీరు రాజాకర్ సినిమా కనుక చూస్తే కాసిం రజు అనే పాత్ర చూస్తే ఖచ్చితంగా నేను చెప్పిన ప్రతి మాటని కూడా మీరు విశ్వసిస్తారు అందుకు నేనే సాక్ష్యం నేను ఎక్కడికి పోను కాబట్టి ఇక్కడే ఉంటాను కాబట్టి చెప్తున్నాను ఖచ్చితంగా ఈ సినిమా చూడండి అలాగే కాసిం రజు ఇంటర్వ్యూ కూడా చాలా ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్గా ఉండింది చాలా బ్యూటిఫుల్ స్టోరీ అట్ ద సేమ్ రాజార్జున్ని కూడా చూడండి ఆల్ ద వెరీ బెస్ట్ చేస్తూనే ఉంటాను ఇట్లాంటి అనేక ఇంటర్వ్యూస్ మీతో కలుస్తూనే ఉంటాను నేను మీ శివమాలాలా